Okay, here we are. Rescue Everyday Heroes. I have never played this game before, so we're just going to dive right in here. I like this little this helmet here. It's pretty nice. Yeah, so there's a there's a 2013 version. Uh, I clicked a new game. This is taking a while. Here we go. There's a 2013 version, apparently, that uh, came out. Um, and this is not that version. Um, ooh, that was loud. Let's see, welcome to rescue... No, this is 2013, so <laughs> here we go. Greetings, Chief. You have been appointed as the new Chief of the Fire Department. In this role, you build and maintain your rescue force and respond to various emergencies. You must hire personnel and buy tools and vehicles in order to perform well. Your first job would be to become familiar with basic game concepts. Basic game con okay. They're talking to you like you're the chief, and then they say game concepts, so... It would begin with the following. Two firefighters. New items available for purchase. Uh, firefighters. Okay, I'm ready. Let's see. Ooh, a new vehicle. Fire engine. Traditionally known as the pumper. It's the most common vehicle used by modern-day fire departments. This vehicle can now be found in the vehicle bay. Well, that's cool. Hose carrier vehicle. Specialized vehicle for transporting a large number of different fire hoses for situations when the site of the fire is far away from the hydrant network and the firefighters need an additional water source. It's interesting. I don't know that I've ever seen one of these. Okay. This is the management mode. While in this mode, your job is to manage your fire station. You need personnel, so make sure you have them available at all times and that they are assigned to important jobs around the station. You also require vehicles in order to get to mission sites, to access personnel recruitment, and purchase vehicles. Use the buttons at the top of the screen. Don't worry, there is no time limit to management mode. Time will only begin to run when you are ready. Understood. Okay, there goes my two guys here, it looks like. I can zoom in using the, the scroll wheel. Jay Norris. Hey buddy, what you doing? Can I click on you? Uh, I'm clicking and it doesn't really seem to be doing anything here. Click, click, click. Okay. There's the vehicle bay. Again, clicking, nothing happening, no right clicks. Okay, let's zoom out. Um, okay, I guess we'll just go ahead and do this. Buy props, hire new personnel, assign duties for personnel. Okay, let's do that. It's kind of strange, they just kind of like toss you in and just figure it out. Unit management. Here you can view your units and see their current status. Character skills, personality, and thoughts can be viewed here. Unit management is also used to set new assignments to personnel. Select the job from the job listing and click assign to do this. Click assign, okay. Notice that the job must have enough capacity to allow more personnel to be assigned to it. Either assign characters or buy more items to allow higher capacity. Understood. Okay. So here, Abraham Adder. Mahalalel. Sorry. Some of the emergency calls are so depressing. Comforting the relatives that it's deceased is never easy. Ooh. Yeah, I bet not. Man. Alright, what is your current assignment? No effect. Command centers where all the information about ongoing emergencies is collected and distributed. Radio communication is also handled here. Command center personnel are expected to be highly organized and good at general emergency procedures and strategies. Let's see, what are his traits? He's got, he's social, he's tidy, he's a mechanic. Oh, okay, let's go to the maintenance room. Um, here we go, maintenance room. Oh, I just added him to it. <laughs> okay. Well, I already added him to it. Let's see, daily maintenance effect, 0 0.30. Maintenance is key for constant maintenance is very important to make sure I always have at least two people doing checks and tuning equipment. Well, it said he's a good mechanic, so, you know, I would think that makes sense. Let's see about Jonathan Norris. He's just standing by. Dinner last night didn't sit well with my stomach. Too much chili for my taste. Okay. He's got, he's a joker? Yeah, sounds like he's a joker. He's diligent, so he knows the joy of a hard day's work. And he's social. Everyone's a friend. Ah, so let's see. Canteen. Oh, I see if I if you click on that 
it automatically sends in there. I keep I keep wanting to do this, but I want to I keep doing it up here instead. Add more personnel to increase morale. So Jonathan's in there. Uh, marches on its stomach and fire departments to see skills. Character's endurance and speed. Character's job skill. Take classes and lecture. It didn't say what that job specific skill is, does it? You know, it looks like a hose, but. Job specific skill. So I guess, is it. He's a level one at doing the canteen stuff? Maybe? So we got him, he's at the maintenance. And then this guy is doing that stuff. Let's look at our vehicles here. Fire engine. Pumper. Uh, you guys probably don't want me to read all this, so... Striping. Oh, I can change the striping on it? That's interesting. There's no people on it yet, though. It's got a fire extinguisher. Single use only. Attack hose. Got two of those. One supply hose. And first aid kit. That's nice to know. Okay, well, gosh, you know... This morale is about right in the middle. Um, Sign duties for personnel review vehicles. Well, so I've got a guy in the canteen and I've got a guy in the maintenance room. Now, I'm not sure. I would think being on standby is what firefighters do the most. Alright, unit recruitment. Here you can view. Available characters for hire and vehicles for purchase. Clicking on a unit opens a detailed view. Okay. Let's see. We got Gergo Banos, senior firefighter. That might be good. Let's see, he's a good cook, and he's a good mechanic. Everybody, he's shy. Oh, look at that. He's shy. Prefers solitude. Strong, both physically and mentally. It's the youngest son of a farming family of partly American descent. Okay. He's gotten used to hard work. When his father died, his older brother inherited the farm, and Gergo, Gergo was forced to find a new profession. He ended up in the States, first working on construction sites and later as a postman. While delivering letters, he came across a recruiting brochure of the fire academy and decided to try his luck. His grades in theory subjects may not be the best, but all his fellow students remember him as the honest, silent man who nevertheless had a great yet somewhat twisted sense of humor. Gergo is a capable mechanic and likes to repair everything from fire pumps to old televisions. His piece de resistance in the canteen is extremely spicy goulash. Not much is known of his private life, but he apparently has a bride in Hungary and hopes to reunite with her one day. Wow. How much money do I have? I've got 2,000. Man, do we blow 1,200 of it on this guy? Let's see what else we got out here. Uh, we got this guy, Douglas Hoffman. Previously a shoemaker. I'm not going to go through and... Uh, he saw many emergencies. I'm not going to go through and read all this to you. He's diligent. That's good. Pompous. Exaggerates his own skills and performance. He kind of has that look about him. Not being judgmental, you know. Here we go, look at this guy. Corey. He's a firefighter. He's hot-headed. See? Yeah, we don't want that. We don't want him fighting with everybody else. What about you, buddy? Diligent. I recognize that one. He's a good cook, and he's athletic. Well, well this guy looks pretty good. Ekram Sharma, 800. That's not bad. Let's see what else we got here. I like it when they, their traits are all good. Diligent. Everyone's a friend. Sloven. He's just a... He's a pig. He's messy. Leaves a mess everywhere. Shy. Careful. Mechanic. Okay, let's look. So far, this guy looks like our best bet. So let's hire him. We don't have any paramedics, but... Let's hire this guy, having absolutely no idea what we're doing right now. You gotta remember that.
I don't have nearly enough money to buy any vehicles. Okay, so let's close this. Yeah. And now I'm guessing... Oh, wait. What are these? Assigning jobs, maintenance. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Where are we at? Did we start on the bottom and then? Skills trace them around. Here you can see a character's basic statistics. Skill represents the character's capability to work on missions. Fitness represents the character's physical capability. Traits represent the character's personality and other characteristics. Some traits allow characters to be better at certain jobs. Morale represents the character's well-being. Higher the morale, happier the character. Characters with higher morale will work harder, so it's a good idea to keep the personnel motivated. That makes sense. Characters' rank is dependent on both their fitness and skill levels. Uh, let's see. This probably makes for boring videos, now that I'm thinking about it. Why are you so extinction? Okay, whatever. Um, yikes. Let's close that. Uh, signing jobs. Alright. This is the picture. Um, keep the station running. Personnel must be given jobs. Command center job includes responding to alerts and creating new strategies for missions. Personnel working in the command center work towards increasing mission capabilities, such as allowing you to bring more units to the emergency site. That's nice. Main installs characters maintain the tools and the vehicles. Lecture room. They spend time, but it's a professional skill level. Gym, physical, canteen, better food, maze, better morale. That's good. Did we just do maintenance? Vital for mission to be successful. Okay. Um, whoa. Okay, let's zoom out. Let's go to the jobs here. Who do we got on stay? You're on standby. Okay, this water does just feel heavy sometimes. Yep, I, you know, I bet that's true. Let's go to the command center with you, buddy. We need someone in the command center. Just in case, you know, an alarm goes off or something. So we're going to have him walk to the command center. Here he's going right now. Yep, okay. Yeah, he's going to, what, hang out in the canteen? Okay. Let's see. This guy's over here being a mechanic. That's good. Good, good, good. Maintenance level 75. We're doing good there. Okay. Three personnel. Experience level 1. Let's go to management menu here again. Ooh, okay. Use the buttons at the top to access management menus. Alright. Top right corner, you can see the resource panel. Yep. Use it quickly to see your resources. When you're ready to receive missions, click the alert phase button in the bottom right corner. Okay, so that's allowing you to control whether or not you're ready to take on missions. Okay, so that's cool. So you can kind of like set up, you know, what your guys are doing, you know, who's working where. Um, now that I've looked at it some, I don't think that this guy's a good fit for working in the canteen. Um, so I think. Well, see, it doesn't let us do the gym yet, because we're not there. Let's have you go to... Um, standby. We'll have you go to standby. Jonathan Norris. Dagger Norris. Does he have a nickname? 8-Ball. Okay. Adder. 8-Ball. Dagger. I think I'm going to call them by those little call signs. That's, that's cooler. Alright, well, look. What do you say we get into it, then? Let's go ahead and click this ready alert ready button. <gasps> okay, just activate alert phase. Time is running. It's possible that new missions become available. You can go back to station phase at any moment by pressing the button again. Okay, so now we're in alert phase. <gasps> Boss, there's a donation drive for building a new volunteer fire department for our neighboring village. Do we participate? Well, Try for building a new volunteer fire department for our neighboring village. Yeah, you know, we're we're living rich right now. Why not? This guy doesn't look like he's doing what I told him to do. Jim Norris, you know, I thought I told you to work. Oh, you know what? I did tell you to stand by. That's my fault. 
See, I don't know if doing standby is good or if he should be in the command. Let's put him in the command center. That way you have something to do, buddy. You're working here with 8-ball. Uh oh Burning trash container. There has been a report of a minor fire involving a trash container. Let's go and make sure the fire doesn't spread. Send a fire engine with at least two firefighters to this mission. Which is first mission. Mission, so good luck. Alright, let's go proceed to dispatch mode. In order to respond to an alarm, a unit must be created. A unit dispatch. And a unit dis A unit dispatch. This screen is used to set up a unit dispatch. Okay. Begin by reading the mission description. After comprehending the issue at hand, use the left side menu to select vehicles you want to send. And vehicles that will be dispatched to display on the right. Okay. Let's see. Minor fire involving a trash container. Let's go and make sure the fire doesn't spread. Send a fire engine with at least two firefighters in this mission. Alright, so here we got. Who do we want to send? Um... I'm thinking we should send him and let's send eight ball. Yep. Here they are. Okay, so we got them going. Let's look at this. Do we already do this? Uh, each mission is also required units. The left side of the mass. Okay, yeah, we we did that. So let's proceed to mission. Let's see. Oh, here we go. Now it gets exciting, guys. Now it gets exciting. It's a little monorail here. And... Well, it looks like they're driving on the right side of the road. The yeah. American right side, anyway. Your objective is to extinguish a fire. Use the minimap to navigate the mission area. Once you've got your bearings, select your vehicles and send them to the scene. To complete this mission, all fires must be extinguished. Use the left mouse button to select units and the right mouse button to issue orders. Understood. Alright, there's our guys. Alright, here you are. Alright. Oh, there's a fire. That's not good. Okay, we need to get you to go to this fire. The target is inaccessible. Inaccessible. Alright, he's moving now. So what I did is I right clicked on the ground here. So you can see he's moving on this mini map. I'm gonna toggle roofs on. Let's see what else is over here. Floor one, floor two. I guess if that's a multi story building, you can do that. Okay, and I'm right clicking here. Uh, emergency lights off, siren on. Exit personnel. Alright, so our guys are out now. See, I can see one standing there. Let's get you over to... Oh, that's me clicked on the vehicle again. Now you. Too close to a fire. Move it to safety. Alright, is that is that better? Let me park them here. Vehicle's too close to a fire. It says it's still too close for a fire. Okay, let's, let's, let's pause this here. Let's look at this. Oh, goodness. Choose many firefighters carry a fire extinguisher. Okay. Container, dry powder, use single use, blah, blah, blah. Choose a firefighter, right click on a vehicle carrying a fire extinguisher. Select the fire extinguisher from the equipment list. The firefighter will now grab the extinguisher and start carrying it. Right click on a fire you want to use. Okay, so let's. So let's uh, click on the guy. Click here, get the extinguisher, get this extinguisher. Now can I rotate the... Can I rotate the map here? Doesn't look like it. Alright. Okay, there he goes. Now he's putting out the fire. This guy's just kind of watching. Um, let's see. Let's get an attack hose. Yeah. So I don't know if I'm going to need to do that, because this guy's... He's over here doing this. You, let's see. I won't let him get the... You know, I bet I need to attach this to a fire extinguisher. Or, uh, not a fire extinguisher. Oh, hey, you! The, the fire's back. Uh-oh. Okay, hose-based. Here we go. 
Hmm. Oh man, this looks complicated. Look at that. Choose a firefighter and a vehicle carrying the hoses. Select the supply hose. Firefighter will pick up the hose carriage. Choose a water source. All available water sources are highlighted. Once connected, a circle around the water source shows the maximum range of the supply hose. Click anywhere within the circle to complete supply hose setup. Select a firefighter and pick up an attack hose from the tool menu. Once carrying the attack hose, right click on the end of the supply hose to connect the attack hose. Once connected, the firefighter is ready. Oh, jeez. Okay, so. We're not very efficient right now. Uh, okay, main coupler, I'm assuming, is the the hose they mean. Okay, let's find a source of water. Oh boy, what's... What's that over there? Yeah, I'm not even... I'm not even sure. Hmm. It said I thought that the sources of water would be illuminated on the mini-map. Oh, man. Is there a source of water down here? Oh, you know what? Yep, there it is. Understood. Okay, get down here with the supply hose. It's kind of... It's in a weird spot here. Alright, yeah. you. Go get the attack hose. Understood. Okay, so he's setting this up. Yeah. Alright, now I need you to walk over. What can I take you? This is as far as you can go. No. Okay, that's as that's as far as he can go. Okay. <laughs> okay, you come down here. All right. See, so we wasted our fire extinguisher on those fires the first time. So that that wasn't great. Not great. So I guess these little arrows in the mini map are the the fire. Um, now we need you to go fight the fire. Understood. Here we go. Now we're now we're cooking. Well, this guy's just like standing here. Yeah. yeah, there we go. Now we turn the siren on. That's really loud. I apologize for that. Let's turn that off. We did it! Look at that. Okay. We completed the mission. Here's a review of our performance. It took us a while. Four minutes after we arrived at the scene, I bet. $1,200, that's good. Okay, see, someone threw a burning cigarette to the trash can. Ugh. That sort of carelessness causes hundreds of unnecessary fires each year. Oh, I like that. Luckily, your team contained the fire quickly, so the damage was limited to a single container. See, I like that. It's kind of like a little lesson there. Here we go. Okay, so I don't have to drive, but it's just going to take me back to the fire station. That's good. You know, I like this. I'm, I'm enjoying this already. It's pretty neat. Okay, so here we are back at the station. We got some more money. Uh, looks like we're not in alert phase yet. So we got our vehicle here. So there's one vehicle always in maintenance. Okay. We don't have anyone in maintenance. We're maintenance level 77. Which I'm assuming that's a good thing. Okay, so let's look. Here's our guys on the, on the job. You know, Dagger, let me talk to you for a minute, okay? Look, uh, your performance in that last mission just, just wasn't great. You know? No, 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 I know you had a lot going on, so we're going to have you. How about you go hang out in the canteen for a while? You know, just whatever you need to do there. Just hang out in the canteen for a little while. See, he's pretty happy now. We made him happy. Let's see. He's, you know, he's neutral. He's, he's like, ah, it, it is what it is. Jonathan Norris is very happy, so, you know, maybe he had a good, he had a good time on that mission. He had a good time. Uh, let's see. These guys are working in the command center. Information about ongoing emergencies collected and distributed. Radio communications are handled here. Command center personnel are expected to be highly organized and good at general emergency procedures. So he is diligent which is good he's a he's a good cook and he's athletic so we got him working the canteen he's not such a good cook you know what let's okay we're gonna switch this all right 
Eight Ball, I want you to go. I want you to work in the canteen instead. And I'm going to take Jonathan here. Let's see. He's a joker. He's also diligent. And he's social. So he's social. We're going to put him in the command center. He can talk to our our boy Adder over here. Yep. You can talk to talk to Adder. I can't go to the gym yet because I don't think we have a gym technically. Where's that gym at? Right here. Not yet available. Okay, so I can buy props. What does this do? Furniture and props for the station. Accord and keep your personnel happy and working hard. So that's kind of like a Sims thing. Like decor, right? Some items are required to allow personnel to work at a given assignment. For example, if there are no items in the command center, then nobody can work there. So I guess we have some by default. Note that items are paid only when they've been placed in the station. Some items raise job capacity, which is important when assigning personnel to on-station jobs. Understood. Okay, that's what we got. Air cooler. Keep the air in the station cooler with these. Wow, this is this is a lot of stuff here. Um, what are these like filters here? That's a command center. These are all things you can do in the command center. Bookshelf, filing cabinet, office desk, potted plant, radio console. Well, we should definitely have one of these, right? Man at all times to maintain contact. See, so I can't move this. I don't. So it's only bought when you place it. Uh. Click left mouse button on the highlight area. Okay, I, I, I see that. Now it looks like we do have a radio console here. Now if we have. If we add another radio console, I wonder what that actually gets us. Huh. Yeah, you know, they're not really clear on that. I don't really want to waste the money. Now let's just buy it. Why not, right? So it raised our capacity to three now. So what is this doing? It's an office desk. Okay. Can we... Can we... Let's see. Oh, I click on it. It brings it up. And we'll press increase effect. Unit limit on missions. So yeah, you know, that's a good point. Let's uh Morale six, morale five, morale five. Oh man, the firefighter competition is next month. I just bought the latest season of A Case for three. A case for three. I have to marathon it next weekend. <laughs> Sounds like my kind of guy. I wonder if I could do something fun with this hose nozzle and some water. <laughs> okay, Abraham. Look. You know what? I can send you on a I can send you on a mission if that if that'll make you happy. Let's let's look at this. Let's see, we got a vehicle shop. These cost how much? Four thousand and five thousand. 4,000 5,000. You only get one of these. So I'm guessing, like, the, sh the, the... These you don't have to buy, but you only get one permission, or you get one of these permission, or you get two of these permission. That's what I'm guessing. So, as you get bigger and bigger... Whoops. I don't know what happened. Once you get lar larger vehicles then then you can do more with it senior firefighter athletic nothing guidance is character more than a clean station easy going he's prone to procrastination oh I liked it until you said procrastination um let's see that's column culinary procrastination and messy Serious. Okay. Hot headed. Ooh. So we don't want a hot headed guy. Athletic. Everyone's a friend. So far, Jason's alright. 
Um, Mobutu. Social? That's good. Hot-headed. See, I don't, I don't want people causing fights in my fire station. You know. Diligent. Oh, this doesn't look good. Oh man, character jokes at the expense of others, especially rookies. Well, since I think most of our guys are rookies right now, I don't know that we want him. So, Jason, congratulations. You are hired. Congratulations, Jason. Welcome aboard. Alright, so now we've got another guy we can order around here. Now, we should... There's a hole. I'm not sure what that's about. Alright, Jason. Alright. What are you good at? Mm-hmm-hmm. He's got two here and a two here. He's not good at maintenance. Maybe we'll send him... Let's see. Athletic, social. He's social. Let's send him to the canteen. He can talk to. He can talk to our buddy over there. All right. Okay. I think we're ready to go on another mission here. Alert phase. All right. Let's see what's gonna happen. We got this guy. He's over here. Oh, monthly performance report. One mission, exterior fire, four people, one vehicle, monthly budget results, 600, monthly allowance, 3,000, salary is 3,600. Interesting. And if monthly balance is 1,350. Salary is 36, I only get 3,000. So does that mean I'm in the hole for 600? Ooh. Well, hopefully this time, you know, we'll do more of these. Chief, I just to tell you how much I appreciate well-maintained tools and vehicles. Well, you're, you're welcome, you know? You're welcome. I'm proud of my station. You guys are doing a good job. Uh-oh. What is this? Train container has caught fire in the harbor industrial area. Nearby structures have also been reported as being a fire. Luckily, it's an industrial area. And the train is a cargo train, so there's no risk. Oh, we're definitely going to proceed to dispatch. All right, we need this guy here, and we're going to take... Oh, let's see. Let's take... Uh, we're going to take 8-ball... Come on, eight ball, and just definitely Jason because he's a, he's an old pro. I think we just need two on this. We just need two on this, so let's go. <coughs> okay, so here we go. So these are our water sources. Remember, all right. Well, I definitely want. Oh, look at this. Oh man. Okay, so here's our water source. So we want to get our vehicle to go right here. Let's go. Alright, here they come. So here's the fire. You know, I really don't know if there's a way to rotate the map. Uh, let's see. Options, mission time limits. That's nice that you can turn off the time limits. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't really see the controls. All right, well, let's let's restart the game. Um, okay, so now, okay, let's try to be a little bit quicker. Everybody, get out. You I need you to get the main coupler. All right, and take it over here. Hook it up. And we're gonna take it right there. Oh yeah. We gotta hurry. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Alright. John Walker. Grab this. Forget the extinguisher for now, because we need to get some of these fires out here. Alright, so forget about the extinguisher. Alright, let's get you to work over here. Now, we can get our other guy over here. Get him to get the other attack hose. So he's putting that fire out, I, I'm, I'm assuming. We can attach up to three to this coupler, it looks like. So we should be alright, and we'll get him to start working on these ones over here. Now, look at that. A well-oiled firefighting machine. 
This is this is this is nice. Look. Doing a good job here. Good job, guys. Fantastic. Railway authorities and frag oil representatives are going to have a conference about fire safety in the rail yard. It is proposed that fixed foam turrets be installed to ease and speed up fire response in similar situations in the future. This time, no explosions took place, but these are always the most dangerous kinds of fires. Yeah, so, okay, the fixed foam. So, um, there are different types of uh, fires you can have, uh, different classes. There's A, B, C. Um, class A is things that uh, create ash. So you think like paper, um, you know, trees, wood, that kind of thing. Um, gosh, I really hope I don't get this mixed up since I went out on a limb and started talking about it. Um, I believe uh, B is uh, gases, like flammable, uh, flammable liquids, um, like gas, you know, jet fuel. Um, C is an electrical fire, and D is uh, metal, so like uh, magnesium is extremely flammable. And for different types of fire, you have um, different methods to put it out. Um, so when they were talking about the foam, you know, the fires need like three things to continue. They need oxygen, they need heat source, and they need uh, a fuel source. So, like, you know, they got to burn something. That's the fuel source. So when you're dumping foam on them, you're essentially smothering them. You're removing oxygen from the, I think they call it a fire tetrahedron. And when you use the foam, it puts out um, the fire by removing the oxygen. It's the same way when it's like a CO2 extinguisher. It does the same thing. The CO2, I think, also removes heat. But anyway, I'm sure I got that all wrong. Everyone can tell me how wrong I was about that. Uh, but in a previous life, I was a I was a damage control petty officer on a carrier, so I used to know that stuff. I might not anymore. So let's see. Um, now I don't really see, you know, where these guys are like getting experience or anything. Um, yeah, you know, I'm not sure. And there's no little pop-ups down here to really tell us anymore. So, you know, you would assume... I guess I need to get a gym. It's not available at this time. Um, do I need to buy props to get a gym? Let's look here. Let's see. we got the gym. Trash bin. Okay. Well, see, none of these things really look like they're the... the thing we want. Um, coolers. We're going to principal. We've got the right air. Okay, so... No, let's back out of this. I don't think this is not yet available on these. So, well, let's just go for another mission then. We got these two guys. Oh, according to my bookkeeping, I'm going to have a bigger tax rebate this year. Good for you, buddy. Good for you. That's that's great. <laughs> uh, I don't I don't know if that means I'm like paying him enough. If he's happy about his pay or what that means. Did you see the game yesterday? The local football team really knows their business on the field. 56 to 20. Woohoo! He gets he gets some. So that what that's doing is you know increasing their morale. Uh oh, here we go. Here's the mission. Downtown pyromania. Wow. There's been a report of multiple simultaneous fires in the downtown area. Phone booths around the city have been set on fire by a perpetrator. Don't worry. The police have already taken care of the perpetrator. They're on the scene to make sure civilians stay out of the incident areas. Well, multiple fires. Yikes. Okay, well, here we go. We've got our one fire engine. We're definitely going to get the experienced guy in here. And uh, let's take Jonathan Norris. Get him some experience here. I think I think they're going to be all right. Uh, we've got two. I don't... Yeah, we're, we'll be all right. Let's go. Oh, look at this. So this is downtown. Fire in my heart, that's nice. Okay, so, wow. Yeah, they weren't kidding, there's... Man, there's fires all over the place. Um, yeah, I still don't see a way to rotate the map. Um, that's kind of... That's kind of not good, considering, like... 
I know that there's a there's water source over here somewhere, but I can't see anything. Uh Meanwhile, my my clock is ticking down. I'm not sure if there's just something I Oh, there it goes. You know what? I clicked in I clicked in the center mouse button and that happened. So I can rotate it if you click in the I think it's mouse button 3 usually. Um and now you can see it even shows you what your camera's looking at, so I can see that the water is supposed to be right there. There it is. Okay, so Oh, jeez. I clicked off of my my guys here. So okay, let's go here first. We need to get them down here. Now that's I don't know if that's a good part, a good place to park here. Park here. Can you get there? Okay, that's fine. That is good enough. Let's get our guys out here. I need you to grab this hose. Where's our other guy? Where'd you go? Are you in the tree? Yes, you are in the tree. Not a good time for uh, playing in the tree there, guy. Okay. Go get that hooked up. And I'm going to have you walk over here. Just to get you moving. Okay, so now he's going to need to know where to set it up. We want to set it. We don't want it to be too close. We want our guys to have some room to work here. Okay, you go back. And I need you to go back and grab the other hose. And now I need you... You need to start hitting this fire. I mean, this is a big fire here. You, I need to link up. So it's right next to the subway. We don't want it to burn down this super crisp subway sign. Oh, okay, I guess you're going to need to move further. You, I need you to hit these fires here. Oh, no, wait. What is going on here? Get that one. Okay, now get these ones. So okay, that's an important thing to note. I just had this this fire caught started fire again because there was a heat source right next to it. So we really gotta be careful with what we're doing here. Okay. Let's see, do I decouple from this now? Detach the hose again? Yep, okay. Okay, okay. And stow the hoses back in the vehicle. Yep, I need you to get back in the vehicle. Okay, we need to come down here and get this. Man, the clock is ticking. They don't have a timer up here, but I guess that's a good thing. Just decouple that. You get back in. I need you to get back in. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Take that. Okay. I'm messing this up here. Alright, decouple. Alright, now get back in the vehicle. There you go. Okay. I think I just noticed, what is that? Connect the hose. So if I don't have a water source, I can connect it to the... Yeah, that makes sense. Should've... Should've realized that from the get-go. Okay, so these fires are out, if I'm not mistaken, so... Let's see, let's... Let's take this out. Okay. Uh, um... Man, that's way down there. I don't know if we'll be able to reach that. Let's get our... Let's get our truck up here. Yeah, that's around the corner. That support hose isn't that long, and I don't know how long the attack hoses are. You know, it might say that somewhere. I wonder if we park too close to the fire, if that'll damage our vehicle. Alright, everyone get out. So I think for this one, we are just going to use... Um, the hose that's actually in here. Okay, so, you connect to that, yep, and then take it, take it over here, you, let's, okay, hook up to this, you, get your attack hose out, okay, you start hitting that fire, he's <laughs> just gonna stand there and spray from, you know, I don't blame you, I don't blame you, guy, I really don't, fires are dangerous stuff, you know, maybe, I shouldn't. Okay, so you see the water level going down for the the fire truck here. Okay, you're done. Yeah. So 
I need you to get off of that. Alright, put your stuff back in the truck. Get off of the connector. Put your stuff back in the truck. Can you pick this one up for me, please? Thank you. Okay. Let's put it back inside the truck. There you go. Oop, nope, not that one. Get back in. It'd be nice if there was like an everybody in button. Alright, so we, we took care of that one. Okay, so it's here. Mouse button three. All right, this is this one doesn't look too bad. We're gonna pull up right here. There's a fire hydrant. Yep. See, this guy's he's been. Now this one, I think we're actually gonna use an extinguisher. Um, we'll just get one guy out. Oh, I can refill an extinguishing tank. Let's see what that's like. Oh no 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 no! We don't want that. We don't want you to leave the scene. We don't want you to leave the scene. I guess that's if you know. Let's see, Jason Walker. Now let's get our, our guy over here. Uh, Jason Walker's the real experienced guy. And now we want him to come over and take out this this fire. I'm not sure. Hopefully he'll be able to get it with that. I don't know. So okay, we're watching. Watch the level of the fire go down. We still look like we have enough stuff here. Okay, we did it. We did it. That one took us a little bit longer, but okay. Prosecutors asked you to appear as a witness in the upcoming trial, Chief. This was the third time the same culprit was arrested of arson and should now receive a long sentence. We had some serious luck with your response of your fire team. The damage was not extensive and no lives were lost. Okay, awesome. That's That's good. This is a nice little game. Okay, so... We just completed that. Let's see, what is this? Oh, I got promoted. I'm a fire lieutenant now. Look at that. Oh, and awarded two paramedics. Which means we have new support units. We got the support ambulance and the EMS doctor's vehicle. New items are available for purchase. We can hire a paramedic now. Oh, they can use the gym now. Makes sense. You want someone there to... If they mess themselves up, I know I've pulled a muscle or two. Personnel can now use the lecture room. Okay. No one can lecture like a paramedic can. Okay, so we have... They just give you an ambulance. That's nice. Alright, well that's... That's pretty cool. Um, oh, here I go opening stuff. We'll just stop here and I'll start here next time. Um, yeah, I really like this game. Um, it's, pretty, it's pretty neat so far. Um, and, you know, even better, there doesn't seem like there'd be anything I wouldn't want my kids to to see in here so far. Um, it's got a few a little bit of elements of like the sims going on with uh, customizing your uh, fire station. I do like that you can you can do this little uh, mode here where you're upgrading your shop, you're putting you know new equipment in and things and training your guys up and hiring new people and then you can say okay I'm ready for missions. So that's pretty cool. And you don't get penalized for you know just hanging out in here as long as you want. So that's really neat. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel where we'll be having more videos just like this. And this is the first one in a series. So, Alright, thanks.